I can't believe they're actually here. <laughs> it is 6.15 and my tour is supposed to leave at 6.30 for the second longest underground river in the world. Alright friends, we just arrived to the Puerto Princesa Subterranean National Park. As I mentioned before, we are going to be going into one of the largest underground cave systems in the world. The cave itself is 24 kilometers long and the underground river is about 8. Obviously not all of it is open to the public. Uh, I think my guide said we will be going on the boat for about two kilometers which takes almost an hour but this is a very special place like this is a unesco world heritage site it was named as one of the new seven natural wonders of the world or seven new wonders of nature something along that lines it's a very special place We just arrived to this new beach and right in front of me there's a sign that says welcome to Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park Underground River. From my understanding we are going to be taking a paddle boat sort of thing into the actual cave itself. So I don't know if there's a big long trek to get to the entrance of the cave or where we go but I guess we'll find out. You need protection when going into the caves because sometimes some of the sediment can fall or apparently there's bats and you know they poo so you got to be careful of that as well and in the park here at self you do have to watch out for monkeys as we remember from the time that i had in bali they are ruthless if you have something that they want they will take it so once again they recommend not having any kind of food on you no plastic bags and just be careful of like having your phone or you know something you don't want stolen out of your hands keeping a watch on my camera so it does look like we are going in a paddle boat guys so i think we have a guide that paddles for us and what's cool is that they give you an audio guide and there's many different languages to choose from so you can you know hear a description of what you're looking at in the caves uh, since obviously it would be hard to hear uh, a guide speaking the only thing i'm worried about is just how dark it is going to get in the cave so hopefully i'll be able to keep filming on this camera but if not my iphone is actually not too bad in darker light, so I might have to switch to that.
Guys, I kid you not, that is 100% one of the top things that I have done here in the Philippines. Yes, this is probably one of the most touristy things you could do on Palawan, but that was 100% worth it. I have never been in a cave like that, that big, just, I don't know, I don't even have words for it, but if you come here to Palawan, like 100%, 100% you gotta do it. And I know lots of people were saying that it's actually super busy when you come here, but at least today, I wouldn't say it's super crowded. I know they say up to a thousand people come here every day, but in my experience, I would say that this is really laid back. But yeah, now we are going to head with the motorboats. Oh, I think my group is actually leaving without me. Um, so we are going to get back on the motorboats and then I think we are heading back to the mainland to grab some lunch. So we just got to the restaurant and I'm actually super psyched that it is a buffet. I did not have breakfast getting up so early this morning so I am super hungry and I'm also excited that we're going to be able to try a whole array of different authentic Filipino food. Take a look at this, friends. How good does that look? I decided to go with fish this time around. I got some veggies, some rice, some noodles, and then I think this is like fried banana or plantain if I'm not mistaken, and then just a little bit of pineapple. Super excited to dig in. Now, unfortunately, the second part of what we were going to do on this tour did not work out, which was this epic zip line uh, just outside of Sabang. It started pouring rain and it looked like it was going to continue into the afternoon. So unfortunately, we did just have to head back to downtown Puerto Princesa. And that was the end of our tour. Nevertheless, I had such a phenomenal time visiting the underground river and I would highly recommend you check it out if you happen to be in the area because this was absolutely one of my top highlights of my time in the Philippines. Speaking of which, this is my last full video of my time in the Philippines. The next video that you guys will see of me is me actually heading to my new country, so stay tuned for that. As always, I'm sending you guys so much love. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye, guys.